I think I, I think you're here. Hello. Hi, it's me. Come on in. Welcome to my world. I've been hiding out all day. I think I am in Facebook jail. So come on. Come and listen to me. I've been hiding all day. So welcome to my world. Come on in. This is my first day on Facebook page live. So I found the place I need to be to be live, and this is a good night. So thank you for being here. I have so much to go over. And first of all, I don't know what happened, but at 5.45 this morning, I started to click, click, click every single person's name, and I added the messenger to message you privately. And when I got all the way down to everybody, I, I realized that the messenger was off. So then I had to start over, and then when I did it, it said, it sent the first batch, sent the second batch, and then it said, you are locked out. So I am just so glad I have people here tonight, and I really appreciate it. So thank you. I think that I have people entering. I don't know, but I will figure this out. My name is Colleen Liz Frost, and I am in development. I just finished a big test on my Facebook friend page, and I brought some of you over, and I will go and grab some more tomorrow if I'm out of jail. So thank you for coming. Saturdays are the days for us to get ready, and that's what I am doing today. I'm building a studio. I have a jungle that I'm putting together. That's another story. But the main thing I'm trying to do is to build a studio. So in the picture below, you'll see how far I got today. And do you know, it has no instructions um, like I wanted. So today I want to tell you that to dare to live the life you have dreamed for you, uh, dare to dream the life you have dare to dream for yourself. Go forward and make your dreams come true. That is Ralph Waldo Emerson. And you know, for me to do this this early in my book launch and the things I have planned, I thought I have to learn them first. Well, you know something? I spent about four years trying to learn these tools and I realized I'm not going to be able to learn them until I do them. So that's what I decided to do. It's all in here somewhere. I've watched YouTube videos and now I'm actually doing it and it just feels great that you're willing to let me learn. And I do dare and I am taking chances, but you know something? Now that I'm public, I feel a little bit nervous, but I think you'll, you'll all help me. Saturdays, I have decided to share with you a celebration of history in hopes that you'll help me to create more. Being an author of a book, um, and a, I'm working on a play, getting ready to launch uh, a kind of a pre-play, to my book and you are going to be so excited for that journey. In our home, the meaning of having a principle was a rule or a fact of life. And for us, it was a balance. Mother said mental, physical, social, spiritual, financial. Heck, she even added two extra days. She added a whole weekly uh, focus one day a week on getting ready. She said, honey girl, there's always something to get ready for. And the other day she added was Sunday dinner, the ding the bell day. And that's probably my favorite day because that, that was the day that we were allowed to come and bring our problems to the table. So I hope that you will uh, follow me with my coaching program on how uh, to have a balance in your life. I think it will be really fun to, um, to be able to keep a whistle in our step throughout the week. And hopefully some of these things that I was taught that I'm putting in a digital home just for, for uh, those that want to be brave enough to come on in, but mostly for my grandchildren. I have written probably thousands of letters to my son and um, it is my dream to um, be able to record some of these uh, letters to him on the video and I think you all will learn something from them. So Emily Dickens said, said that without the feather, that that is what dreams are made of, that there's hope in a feather. And to me, a dream is hope. 
and my mother's favorite poet was Emily Dickinson. So I think the first thing that we have to talk about today is that I have hope that tomorrow Facebook will let me out of jail. So thanks for coming here. Um, Saturdays, what I got ready for today is I, I like to have things be like the first Saturday of the month. The first Saturday of the month this year, we have, a, my dad is 94, my mother has passed away this year, and we did this with my mother during her four-year cancer battle as we started to do, uh, what's it called, uh, FaceTime. And uh, obviously with the Zoom being all the rage, now with mother's passing, we've continued it with Zoom, uh, coffee in the kitchen, only we do it at 9 p.m because my dad's a night owl. He does sleep about every two hours for about 45 minutes. So it is, um, uh, I'm a caretaker and I've done it with passion and I've done it on purpose. So um, I hope that uh, the Zoom, we call it the first Saturday of the month from nine to whenever we're done. This one lasted two hours and all the grandkids came in and it was really something. I don't know how many of you Zoom with your family, but I hope you plan, a t take time to get ready. I even had grandkids this time texting me, what time again? And this was last week. So this is what you call anticipation. And you know why it's fun? To get people excited about having one day a week that you get the kids rallied up to get ready because no one likes to, um, to not have one day to make a plan. Life is a circus. And I think there's enough surprises in a day or a week or a year that, we, that just jolt us out of our reality. And so I like to have a whistle in my step thinking about that Easter or thinking about the holiday or birthday. And also I like to plan things on purpose, like my first Saturdays. Which leads me to our first Fridays of the month. Since my son has moved away and I'm starting to peek into being more social, as I have personally been in COVID now for about 21 years of parenting, I want to show him that I'm going to master this social skills. Um, I decided to start my own bowling league. So I will be posting an event now on this thing called Facebook page. And I learned how to upload the picture and now I'm going to learn how to do that too. So it is next Friday and I hope that um, people that come will dress up or not, but I would prefer that you dress up. You know, we have probably been living in sweats. Now I choose not to. Um, I have been wearing the same clothes for the last four years, being a caretaker, and I have now taken my things from my home and I'm now changing my clothes. Uh, every day feels good. I mean, I actually can fit into some of my things again. So I want us to think about getting ready. What are you getting ready for? Tonight we got ready for my Zoom day with the grandkids. I'm in development and this is, um, I, I think by just confessing that I just feel better. But then my son and I talked last night and he says, mom, I want to spend my rest of my life being in development, like you always say now. And I said, Adam, of course. I said, that's exactly what I think I'm going to do too. I said, because I never really have figured it out. I said, I'm 57 years old, and I think I just want to keep getting better every day. And I said, why, why I think I've mastered this Facebook or this YouTube? Because see, if he was home, he would be helping me, but he's just cheering me on. Because I told him, I said, you know what, Adam, you have to live your life now, and Mom has YouTube. So, you know, I don't want to be calling you up and asking you all these little minor little glitches. So he is, he is cheering me on, and he says I'm, he's really proud of me. But being in development, how many of you feel like you've mastered something? I want to meet you. Because I'm building a map of rare people, places, and voices that I've met in my life from my past and some people I've just met recently. Like this past year, I've been in uh, three schools, um, three courses I'm taking from a school on book publishing. 
And um, one of my very dearest friends this past year is from London. And this Saturday, we booked every Saturday for a friendship accountability call. And she has helped push my, my business plan so forward. And she's become a very dear friend. So again, I live a life on purpose. Um, it kind of stems back from a cancer diagnosis I had many years ago. And if you were told if you only had one year, I hope that you can see life differently. But I think we don't have to wait for cancer. I think we should just all tell me how you live your life on purpose. And I'm sure many of you have figured this out. But for me, I want to make sure to record my journey. Um, I want you to stay with me on purpose. I can't wait to tell you more. Some people wait until everything's purpose. Instead, I am purpose. I'm going to learn as I grow. Thank goodness for Saturdays. They are helping me get ready for better. Becoming a preservationist, that's what I'm doing. I am a head coach. I am building a digital home. I'm going to inspire you to find your rocks, grab a ball, build a team, look for a feather. So jump, bounce, and fly with me seven days a week on purpose. I teach it, I preach it, and I repeat it. And I do it with a balance. So like and share, and remember, uh -oh. remember me, and remember, Saturdays are for those who dare. Be avant-garde, be rare. Sincerely, Colleen.